Welcome to beautiful Beijing, China, and today I've got a riddle for you. What? Looks like a Porsche, sounds like a Tesla, and drives like a Crown Victoria. That is the Ito M5 EV. If you keep up with cars, you've probably heard the rumors that Apple is trying to bring a car to the market in 2024. Huawei brought a car to the market earlier than Apple. I think that was really impressive. The question is, is it a good car? If you guys like our videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you like something or don't like something, please leave us a comment. That will always help us drive traffic and smash that subscribe button so you can see all of our videos as soon as we make them. We're going to be test driving the high performance model that has an additional motor, so more horsepower and four wheel drive, but a little bit of a reduction in range. Very excited about that. Let's take it for a drive. Wow. Okay, performance. <laughs> so the pickup is quite good. It goes fast easily. We're not going all that fast right now, about 70 kilometers per hour. My impressions while driving this are overall positive. It is an SUV, so it does not drive like a sports car. There's a little bit of float in and out of turns. Uh, that means it's comfortable. Nothing wrong with that. When you're getting on the highway, the pickup is quite good. Uh, the visibility is really good. Know where your blind spots are, and where cars are. You feel like everything is really well informed with just a glance. And I think that's really good. Um, the other thing that I really like is there is a little dead space in the acceleration pedal. So if you're using eco mode, and your foot needs to come all the way off for you to let the car give it that regenerative braking. Um, leaving your, your foot on that acceleration paddle just a little bit is really no problem. And since it has that dead space, you're not still rocketing forward or something like that. After driving this car, the next most important thing is, of course, the price. So to get your very own Ito M5, It'll set you back about 260,000 RMB for the base model or 290,000 for the high performance model. In USD, that is 38,000 or 42,000 for the high performance model. I think this can be called luxury without the price tag. The inside of this car is quite luxurious and it drives really well. Anybody looking at the M5 is definitely going to have a little bit of a thought towards the Porsche SUV. It's not necessarily a bad thing as the Porsche SUV has more curves and a little bit more going on with the aesthetics. However, the M5 is a pared down version, more simplistic, but the aesthetics of it are clean angles and very clean curves. It is a good looking car. If you're someone who has a Huawei watch and a Huawei phone, this is definitely a car that will keep you in the Huawei ecosystem. You can share apps among the screens and you can use the NFC in the watch or the phone to open the car for keyless entry. The M5 interior is something that I like quite a bit and leaves little room for complaint. Starting from the steering wheel, we have a more traditional approach to the button layout. Not everything is located in this touch screen. There's quite a bit of things for you to change right on the steering wheel, which is fairly convenient. The dash has long uninterrupted spaces. Uh, there's a couple of colors, blacks, tans, and browns. They go together quite well. It looks beautiful and it is really, really, really well done. Uh, there's suede, which is soft. So when you have your arm there, it's not going to feel like, oh, I'm just resting it on like a bench. The performance model has a crystal shifter. It looks really sleek and fancy. The Napa leather in the car is something that I definitely want to draw everyone's attention to because it looks really high end and it feels really good. You're sitting in your seat. You feel like you're sitting on your favorite couch at home and that is great. Uh, the other thing too is the hand stitched aspect of it makes it look really good. There are some quality of life features in this car that I think are spectacular. First of all, you get in the car, there's facial recognition. So any of the things that you've previously changed, uh, it will automatically put in your profile and it then lets the car change according to that person's specifications. Uh, the other thing that I think is awesome is the 40 watt wireless charger and behind the wireless charger is a fan so it's going to keep your phone nice and cool so it doesn't overheat while it charges. No car would be complete without directions from A to B. So we want to go from A to B here. We're going to choose to go to a place called Sanatun. It's a wonderful place in Beijing. 
All right, so let's go ahead and hit here. Now, I don't want to use my cell phone to navigate. I want to use this beautiful big screen here. So let me go find this application. And here is our route. Very easy to use, very simple, intuitive, and it shares the screen. I think that's really cool. If you have an app in this phone and it is not in your car, you will be able to see it here. Uh, and that is that is also a very cool feature. The M5 has so many features that we had to do a section for solutions in search of a problem or a feature that really doesn't justify its existence well. So the sun visor is the first solution in search of a problem. Um, it works just like a regular sun visor, no complaints there, but you flip it open and they have a way to change the color. I don't wear a lot of makeup and that just seems like why I don't really understand. It's good to have a light. You just need the light to go on and off. The second one is the door has an LED strip in it that lights up uh, if there are is something moving behind the vehicle. The problem is in daytime, you can't really see it that well, and it does work at nighttime. The third one is the super home screen. So we have all our Huawei apps right here. This screen is very fast, very responsive. When you're sharing an app from your Huawei phone to this one, there's a loading time and things take a little bit longer between the apps. And that just doesn't have the same user experience as the native screen that is in the car. As a bit of an audiophile, I am very impressed with the sound system in the M5. It is Huawei sound, so it is Huawei's proprietary sound system. There are 19 speakers and it reproduces sound very, very, very accurately. Acoustic music sounds really, really good, almost like you're in the room with someone uh, playing the music. Anything with heavy bass is produced very accurately and you really get those deep tones resonating through the car really well. The back seat is, of course, not bad at all. Something I definitely like. Napa leather across the seats makes it very comfortable. The other thing with it is there's nothing here in the middle. So if you sit in the middle, you're not going to be uncomfortable. Ito M5 EV is a car that really impressed us. Not only is this a car that's brought to the market by Huawei, an electronics manufacturer that's making phones and watches, that takes a ton of guts. This is a car that looks good, drives well, and does not have a price tag that is unaffordable. It is quite reasonable for the level of luxury that you're getting. So come to China, try one out.